welcome to Tarnagala. This is the place to come to. Come everybody, come all, come to my place. European settlement in the area began with the taking up of Tarnagala Station in the 1840s. Gold was first found in the area in 1852 by prospectors on their way to the Karong Goldfields near Wedderburn. The discovery led to a gold rush as more than 5,000 miners made their way to the diggings. The settlement created by these miners was at first known as Sandy Creek and was renamed Tarnagala after the station in 1860. Reflecting this, the post office opened on August 13, 1856 as Sandy Creek and was renamed Tarnagala on January 2, 1861. Tarnagala was given its name by the Polish explorer and geologist Paul Strzelecki. The first miners in the area were prospectors from South Australia, followed by many more from other diggings and from around the world. A canvas town grew up quickly to service the needs of the miners, and in 1853 the first gold nuggets were found near Tunnagulla at Nuggety Gully with one pair of miners finding 39 kilos of gold in a 14 day period. Many other large nuggets including one weighing 14.5 kilos were found in the area. From 1854 the focus of the miners turned to quartz mining with the discovery of the Poverty Reef. The reef was named by one of its discoverers, Mr Hatt, in remembrance of Poverty Bay in New Zealand, where he had been saved from drowning by a Maori woman. The Poverty Lode was unusual in that the gold was found in large blocks of quartz. Allegedly, the richest pocket of reef gold ever found, more than 13.5 tonnes, of gold was recovered from Poverty Reef in 13 months from an area 3 metres wide and 120 metres deep. The move to quartz mining led to Tarnagulla taking on a more settled appearance with brick and stone buildings replacing the earlier canvas structures. Local government was established in the area with the creation of the borough of Tarnagulla in 1864. The borough was surveyed in 1864 and by 1865 the town had reached its peak with a wide range of businesses operating including four hotels, nine general stores, three surgeons, a share broker and watchmaker. In September of that year the Tarnagala court held its first sitting. Residents of the town included around 1,000 Chinese as well as groups of Greeks and Italians. Later settlement focused on agriculture with sheep raising and wheat growing established in the area. A sawmill was established at nearby Bullabool Creek in 1863 and the railway from Denali reached Tarnagala in 1888. New technology such as the use of cyanide allowed rework of some of the tailings of earlier mines. In 1906 the famous Poseidon nugget weighing 26.6 kilograms was found at Tarnagala. The nugget was named after the racehorse Poseidon, winner of the 1906 Melbourne Cup. The development of agriculture continued with the establishment of a flour mill in 1873. The mill was operational until 1917 and in 1920 the mill was relocated to Mildura. Gas street lighting was established in Tarnagala in 1869 and operated until the arrival of electricity in the town in 1950. The Tarnagala Magistrates Court closed on 8th June 1979.
Gefunden hast. Hm. So that would have been like a cooking stove, Mum, wouldn't it? Like, like the one that Nan had, yeah. but a smaller version. Of yeah. Wow, it's beautiful and nice kitchen bench. You probably would have had a couple of little cabinets under there. Yeah. <laughs> but look how thick the plaster is. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's really good quality. That looks like. That looks like mud brick there. Eh? Oh, right, it's not concrete. No, it looks like he might have done, he might have done like a mud lining on the inside. Yeah. So, so it's concrete floor. Yeah, and then he's put the plaster over that. Yeah. Gee, he's done a great job with the plastering though. Yeah. yeah. And, and then he's lined the ceiling as well. Yeah. And it's obviously it hasn't been leaking much because look at it. It's in terrific condition. It's incredible. Yeah. The doors have disappeared. Yeah. After you love. Oh yeah. This would make this would make a nice little coffee shop, wouldn't it? Yeah. And a little um porch in the front. Mm. You got the the road right here? Yeah. <coughs> Be a bit noisy at night time. Yeah, yeah. Oh look, big water tank. Collects all these rainwater. Good Amazing. Look at that stone chimney, Mum. They're beautifully made. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, so I reckon that's what he's done. He's got one one layer of stone. Yep. Then pop, he's lined the back of that with mud. Yep. And then he's put plaster over the top of that. Oh, it's brilliant. Brilliant. That, that'd stand forever. Mm. Oh, it's solid as. Yeah. Oh, it's even got a cavity up there. Mm -hmm. Look, so he's got like a little attic. Oh, all right. Yeah. Up there? Yeah, yeah. He's put the ceiling on. And what's that for? Oh, no. I don't know what that's for. Just the hole in the wall. It's weird. Yeah, look. It just goes right through. Gee, it's quite thick, isn't it? Oh, okay. Go, is it, does it come through into the. Yeah, it just goes straight through. Look, there's some down there, isn't it? 
Sit down the bottom. Yeah. Oh, well, all the crawlies would be coming through, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's a bit strange. Amazing. I don't know what that's for. But, but look at look at look at the it's just magic. Look how straight the bricks are in there. I know, it's just beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Oh look at that bit up there. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Bloody beautiful, what? So how many years ago would have been? Well, well after 1945. Five, yep. Mm. Mm. Very nice. So I wonder what somebody's smashed up. Oh, that, I wonder if that's part of what the kitchen was under the kitchen bench. Yeah. Might have been little shelves and that. Yeah, but... But why would they have chucked them out here? Oh, that's awful.
Yeah.